energy is life. It's the force that shines a light on progress, that ignites the spark of industry and commerce, that powers an economy and empowers a nation. But energy saved is life lived better, more smartly, more efficiently, more securely and sustainably. Because the more we are able to manage our energy demands, the more we can find ways to cut costs and reduce our reliance on local and imported energy sources, the more we will stand ready to build a brighter tomorrow for all South Africans. This is the vision of the PSEE, the Private Sector Energy Efficiency Program. Launched in December 2013 by the National Business Initiative, a voluntary coalition of South African and multinational companies working for sustainable growth and development in our region. We tend to be submerged in uh, daily production activities and operational activities. If you have an external uh, company coming in and actually saying this is the right way to go, then it's the best way. The NBI contacted Collier Packaging to explain to us what it was that they were offering. Uh, they gave us an audit report on what they think we can do in terms of energy savings. They consolidated everything for us and they drew focus to the energy needs of the company. From the PSWE initiatives that we have done so far, we have been able to save 900,000 rands in about four months, which is quite impressive for a business of our size. So I think this kind of a project and a process is something that all companies should go through to streamline what we use to make sure that there's enough for everyone going forward. As a dry cleaning and laundry business, we are energy guzzlers. And also we realize that, that our profits are interrelated with energy resources, especially electricity. We need to have interventions as to how we use our electricity. Look after the environment first, and then the profits will follow. Energy is a precious resource. It's a finite resource. But in our industrialized and fast-moving society, we've come to take it for granted. For years, we had the cheapest energy in the world. And all of a sudden, it became exceedingly expensive. With growing constraints on power and ever-rising costs, electricity supply in South Africa will remain under great pressure at least until 2020. That's why energy has been pinpointed by government as the single most important challenge we need to address in order to jumpstart and grow the economy. The relationship between government and business is critically important. The one cannot function, especially when it comes to implementing something like energy efficiency without the other. I think companies can learn from what has come out of the PSEE program, and they need to get on board. A lot of the groundwork has been done, and the school fees have been paid. So learn from them, implement the low-hanging fruit, and then progress to the larger things, because the cost of electricity is going to determine uh, a, a need, a serious need, to continue this drive towards energy efficiency. Energy is one of those common threats which uh, contribute to your cost base and pushing up your costs, uh, which you can control to a certain extent. And energy efficiency allows you the possibility of, uh, without large capital investments, to lower the energy cost basket and basically allow your platform to investigate and look at options that you can do and be benchmarked against the best in the world. Across the sectors of South African business, from small and medium enterprises to large organizations, from farming to finance, from mining to manufacturing, from local municipalities to national government departments, the private sector energy efficiency program has been lending support and spreading the message. Cutting back on energy consumption means lower electricity bills, which in turn can mean improved production levels and a boost in profits. It's a virtuous cycle that is good for people, good for business, good for the nation. I think especially for a business such as ours, Standard Bank, we're a leading bank 
We want to be a responsible bank. We want to conduct our business responsibly. I think there's a greater appreciation amongst corporate South Africa of the negative impacts of climate change. And a lot of businesses such as ours are now looking at these interventions. There are institutions like the private sector uh, energy efficiency programs that you could leverage off. Um, and as long as you've got like-minded people around the table, you can achieve incredible results. Since 2013, the PSEE has reached thousands of people and hundreds of enterprises and organizations across the country. I think the most important achievement is reaching across the country in teaching people about energy efficiency, realizing that there's still a lot of work to be done in awareness raising, but most importantly, that we actually were able to move companies to do something about it. We were really uh, a team of people with, uh, with a very focused purpose. And so for us to have audited over 600 medium-sized companies and identified over 4,000 energy saving opportunities is a major achievement. Because there's a lot more to saving energy than switching off a light, the real secret lies in switching on the light bulb of a bright idea that harnesses the power of human energy, initiative and innovation to energize the future. The NBI has been really a great partner for us over many, many years. For us to, to work with the NBI on the PSEE project has been a pretty natural step and it's been fantastic in terms of the depth and breadth of what we can achieve by bringing in our supply chain as well. We've had over 80 small and medium food and clothing suppliers come on board and get really top quality advice at pretty much no cost to them through the process. What the audit did for Valera was to bring in outside expertise and uh, just get our thought process organized so that we knew what areas were being excessively energy hungry and how we would need to go about improving those areas. If you don't know what you're wasting, how are you gonna rectify it? We managed to cut our energy consumption by 50%. We brought it down from 1.2 million kilowatt hours per year to 600,000 kilowatt hours a year. 40% of that energy comes from the sun, from the photovoltaic system, and 60% of the savings come from energy efficiencies. Input cost is critical within the wine industry. A lot of the processes are generic, um, so the outcome of that process has been a sort of best practice guideline for the wine industry to say what are the, the best or the minimum things that you need to do to measure and, and manage your electricity and energy usage at winery level. And that's really the, the kind of interventions we need at scale in South Africa if we're going to deal with some of the energy challenges we have at the moment. There's a huge reward for any company that can get it right. Our new society was born on the power of change in action. The power of people who dared to make a difference. Now, let's join forces. Let's work together to reimagine, to revitalize, to reinvent South Africa as a country with all the energy we need to live life brightly, smartly, securely, and sustainably. The future is, uh, from an energy efficiency point of view in South Africa, it's a growing industry, it's an opportunity for people to make money, it's an opportunity for people to do the right things. I would really encourage any company in South Africa who is serious about managing their energy kind of footprint decently to, to get involved. So I really would like 2015 to count as the year that got us started on an energy efficient path. If you haven't got involved in energy efficiency, Better start soon. Energy is life. Let's save it today to make the most of tomorrow.